Hi and welcome to Camper Trailer Australia TV. We're down on the beach uh, near Cape Jarvis in South Australia on the Flurio Peninsula, the stopping off point for Kangaroo Island. Beautiful neck of the woods and we've got a great little camper we picked up yesterday from Eagle Campers in Adelaide and we've got the Cherokee model. We're going to run it up and down the beach, we're going to set it up, pull it down and do a proper evaluation on it for you. It's only an $18,000 job but it's got everything on board. Well, have a look at this place, it's just beautiful. This is uh, the Blowhole Beach, looking across the backstairs passage to Kangaroo Island in the background. And I've got to say, Cape Jarvis, wonderful place, but it's one of the windiest places in Australia. That's why they put a wind farm here but was also a great place to bring this camper, the Eagle Cherokee camper, so as we could do a full setup on it on some uneven, rocky, horrible ground with plenty of wind, and I'm happy to say we've achieved. It tows beautifully. I didn't find any bounce. It walks over corrugations really well. Uh, we put it through some rocky ground as well, and it just walked beautifully. So independent suspension, a good solid galvanized chassis, uh, plenty of strength in the drawbar and plenty of turning room for those tight manoeuvres. You've got battery facility and basic power as well as 240 but you've also got quite a good little kitchen. You've got a four burner stove, stainless steel sink, we've got the ever cool icebox here as well and a decent sized pantry all within underneath the annex area so you're not going to get wet or sunburnt while you're cooking dinner. It was quite easy to set this unit up too. I quite like that. The basic unit, you've just got uh, like a winch strap, like a uh, from a boat trailer, and it actually pulls the whole unit over. And all of a sudden, you've got a queen size bed already set up. And as it folds over, it comes over, and you've got a nice little dinette, pull up table, convertible dinette that also becomes a double bed for the guests or the kids. I've been pretty critical in the past when you get campers that you've got to step up into. A lot of the staircases really are quite dangerous, not really nice at all. This one's a beauty, works really well. Wherever you look around the camper, there's plenty of hatches and they've all got automotive type seals on them, seem to work quite well, and plenty of storage. Inside there's not a heap of storage, but around the camper for your poles, your annexes, all the bits and pieces that you carry, there's a ton. And don't forget on the drawbar we've got a facility for two gas bottles as well as two jerry cans. For our first time round, it's probably taken us about 30 to 40 minutes to put the unit up to this stage, but if you were just doing an overnighter, you could just pull it across really easily. You know what, for the money, there's actually a lot of camper here. We've got a proper pull-out kitchen, We've got the ice box as well, the Evercool ice box. There's plenty of storage, there's plenty of canvas, there's plenty of, com of accommodation as well. So overall, I think with a good solid chassis, good off-road running gear on it as well, electric brake unit, it's all there. I think for the money, this is actually very good value.